Hello, Jean. Good evening in your place. Good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, thank you very much for joining with us today. We will be talking about license endorsement as well as score transfer procedure. As you know, your license endorsement and your score transfer procedure might be needed later on after that you have passed your NCLEX. So at this time, we are going to talk about with you regarding this procedure because you might use this information later on. So with me is my sister, Miss Jean Olivar, and she is currently in Texas. And at this time, it's so what time is it in there? It's 9.58. 958 uh, in here in the philippines it's already 11 a.m june 4 of 11 a.m <laughs> so <laughs> it's still june. i thought it's i thought the live broadcast will be tomorrow so i'm <laughs> not so prepared today but anyway okay so we will start first with um let me probably have a crowd check first. We uh, let me see where are the where are our audience coming from. So if you might want to um, type in your uh, current location as of this time, would be very glad to greet you as well. You can uh, type your uh, current location, and we will be greeting you online. And we have here for our viewers, we just have six viewers because actually um, this uh, Facebook Live should be broadcasted uh, probably in one to two weeks. It should be with be live and to be broadcasted in one to two weeks. So because we just had it today, so we are just expecting few viewers probably. But during the replay, there will still be a lot of viewers who will be... Um, replaying the live broadcasting so it won't matter if we just have few viewers as of this time anyhow um there is attorney nick with us <laughs> hello attorney nick hi attorney nick <laughs> maybe sometime we will also have a be live uh, what do you call this one talk show with attorney nick maybe we can talk about i-140 the EB3 immigration, uh, EB3 visa, the immigration thing. So, Attorney Nick might want to ha have a talk show with us. Maybe Attorney Nick. <laughs> so, sir, from passing. Yeah, yeah sir, oh, Efraim, yeah. Our, yeah, she he is our client, and um, we already have uh, twelve viewers. <clears throat> A third in the soon <laughs> if <laughs> time will allow. So, anyhow, anyway, we're going to start now. Let's first start with the definition of terms. So, we're talking, we will be talking about uh, the license endorsement, the score transfer procedure, and license reciprocity. Ms. Jason, you may want to start the discussion. Okay, for uh, score transfer, so we're going to uh discuss score transfer and endorsement tonight score transfer is when you do the NCLEX scores to be transferred from one jurisdiction to the other via the national council of state board of nursing or ncsbn so like if you have a license in california you don't have an active license because you don't have a social security number so if you want to have an active license you can either do or transfer to other states like um, Missouri, California to Missouri, California to Northern Mariana Island, California to Connecticut, California to Arizona, or Cal California to North Carolina. Uh, license by endorsement, it means that when your license is in good standing and you want to get a license in another state without doing the NCLEX exam. So you need to provide NCLEX, ver I'm, I mean, license verification from at least one state. Some states require uh, verification from every jurisdiction you have practice or have a license. Like if you have a license in 
<clears throat> California and you want to endorse it to another state, to Illinois Board of Nursing, it can be done also. So uh, there are a lot of nurses who uh, I talked to before and they were asking like, I have a California license. I've, I pass NCLEX board exam. I, I passed NCLEX for California Board of Nursing very long time ago, like 2006, 2007, 2008, and I don't have an active license right now, and I want to have an active license. So what we can do for that is either if you are going to be deployed in uh, Missouri, then we will do score transfer from California to Missouri. But if you are going to to be deployed in Illinois, then we will be doing license by endorsement from California to Illinois. Mm -hmm. so, uh, mm -hmm. so when you do a score transfer, your scores, California, like if you do California to Missouri, California, after the score transfer is approved, then your scores, then California, don't have jurisdiction over your scores anymore. So your initial licensure will be Missouri now. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to recap, for license endorsement, this is when the nurse wants to have a license in another state. Say, for example, my license is Texas Board of Nursing. That's the original state that I have. And I have uh, endorsed it to New York Board of Nursing. So in both of these states, I have my uh, U.S. license, and it's both active. From Texas, it was endorsed to New York Board of Nursing. But say, for example, I have California Board of Nursing. I took the MPLEX, and I passed the MPLEX with California Board of Nursing, and I want it to be, um, the scores of my MPLEX will be transferred to another state for it to be active. Say, for example, because your California Board of Nursing will not issue you an active license. It's an active license, isn't it, Jason? Yes, yes, it is active. Because yeah. you don't have a social security number, so they were not going to issue you a license. And a lot of nurses had uh, a lot of nurses nurses passed the MPLEX previously, and they took it with California Board of Nursing. That's why a lot of nurses are inquiring, "How am I going to um, have my active license?" Because usually the recruitment agency wants it that their um, license will be active, so they are going to have it activated through the process of score transfer procedure. So with regard to license reciprocity, what is the difference of a license endorsement and license reciprocity, Ms. Jason? Let's that just have the, that is just, Yeah, that is just the same. License, uh, license by endorsement or license reciprocity, licensure by reciprocity or something like that. It's just the same thing, but this, the, the difference, uh, the score transfer is different from license by endorsement or license by reciprocity. Mm -hmm. So like if you have an active license in Texas and you want to endorse or uh, endorse to New York, so that is licensed by endorsement or by reciprocity. Is this the same thing? Mm -hmm. The difference as well, another difference as well, is that when you do the score transfer procedure, the initial state will no longer have the jurisdiction over your license. Is that the right uh, term? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because your scores will be will be transferred to another state. Therefore, it's no longer active in the original state. No, it no, is no, no. It's still active. It will still be active. Uh, if you have a California and then you endorse, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not active anymore. Yeah, but if you do license endorsement, it remains to be active from that of the original state and to the to the state where you endorse your license. So there is no transferring of the NCLEX scores. It's just endorsement to another state so that you will also have another license as active license. So what is the usage of this license endorsement, Ms. Jean? 
if you are going to be deployed, like if you have a license in Texas and you will be deployed to another state, so that's the use of like license by endorsement or license by reciprocity. So if the uh, deploy uh, recruitment agency will deploy you to another state, like what, like what you from uh, from if you will be deployed from if you will deploy to texas if you have a license in new york then you will be deployed in texas so you need to have a license in texas so that's mm -hmm. why from new york you will endorse your license to texas yes definitely because as of um the for the first or no not for the first time takers i mean to say for any nurse who wants to take the NCLEX, it doesn't matter whichever state they want to apply. They may want to apply to Florida, Minnesota, Montana, Texas, New York, New uh, uh, Northern Mariana Islands. So for the choice of state for the NCLEX, if you are still applying for the NCLEX and will be taking the exam, there is no problem with whichever state you may want to apply. But your recruitment agency will um, have their hospital client and their employers, uh, their hospital client will be there in that specific state. Therefore, you need to have an active license on that specific state where you will be deployed for you to be able to practice as a nurse in that specific state. Am I right, Ms. Jean? Yes, that is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to have an active license. So for the NCLEX exam, it doesn't matter whichever state it will be, but for you to be able to uh, be uh, allowed to practice as a nurse in that specific state, so we need to have your license endorsement later on. Usually some of the, uh, or are there any recruitment agencies who, what is the process usually? Do they, um, have you heard that recruitment agencies will um, shoulder the cost of license or endorsement or is it the applicant who will be shoulder, shouldering the cost for the license endorsement? It depends on the recruitment agent. Some recruitment agencies will shoulder the uh, the fees for endorsement, but other recruitment agencies, it is the applicant who will be uh, who will pay for those fees. Mm -hmm. I see. So let's now discuss what will be the states uh, that we can endorse a certain license. Say, for example, the client or the nurse has California Board of Nursing. Uh, or she took the NCLEX through California Board of Nursing, passed the NCLEX, and uh, what are the states that she or he can endorse, or let's first do the score, tra the score transfer. What are the states that she can um, have the score transfer procedure so that the California Board of Nursing will be already active after it was already score transferred? Okay, so first, if you have a California, if you pass NCLEX through California Board of Nursing, we can do a score transfer to uh, Missouri. Mm -hmm. So if we do a score transfer to Missouri, uh, you need also to have a true profile now. So aside from aside from the credential evaluation, you will also have a true profile, which is. Uh, one nurse who paid for the true profile, it is 379 I think, but the other one that we did, we paid $439. So I don't know what's the difference, but when he when he paid for that, it was only lesser than what we, what we paid uh, a few days ago. So California to Missouri, it is score transfer. So the process for that, it depends on how fast your credential evaluation will be, your CES will be issued from CGFNS. It takes, right now, it's, it will probably take four to five months to have that uh, report issued. And uh, you will also do a fingerprinting and you will have, uh, Missouri will give you a license. If you if you do a score transfer from California to Missouri, Missouri will give you a license. Your name will be posted in nurses. 
after after everything is completed. Oh, so mm -hmm. another state that we can do a score transfer, California to Connecticut. If you have passed the CGFNS qualifying exam before, you took it long time ago, and you had a CGFNS certificate, we can do a score transfer from California to Connecticut. The process is fast faster it, it takes like two two months to have a license in connecticut so we have done that one two of our clients we have successfully did a score transfer from california to connecticut another one is to northern mariana island score transfer from california to northern mariana island uh, right now, the process is kind of slow because after the typhoon, as I said before in our previous live broadcast, uh, Northern Mariana will score transfer from California to Northern Mariana Ally will take about like five to six months now, but it can be done. Yes. Another will be California to um, Arizona. So we have an mm -hmm. ongoing process with our applicant right now. Uh, but I have called Arizona Board of Nursing and they accept score transfer from California. There is a question from Ephraim Kawit and he is asking how long it usually takes for a license endorsement, say for example, New York Board of Nursing to Texas Board of Nursing. It takes like two months. If you are fast to do your fingerprinting, then you can get a license after two months. After you have submitted, after we send the application for endorsement, and then uh, the board receives the receives your application. After two weeks, they will Texas board will issue you a temporary license, and your name will be posted in nurses with a temporary uh, license number. Then after everything is done, like two months after, you will have a permanent license. So processing, the fastest that we had uh, endorsement from New York to Texas is two months time. Two months, yeah. yeah. It depends on how fast you do your fingerprinting. So also, if you are in a hurry, then do it as soon as possible. Then we could get it done like in one and a half months. It depends on how license, yeah. For the license endorsement going to uh, Texas Board of Nursing, you still, uh, please take note that you still need to uh, pass the nursing jurisprudence examination. But it um, it's no problem at all because there is a prep course that you can have prior your nursing jurisprudence examination. So you still need to do the usual pr uh, procedures. But instead of, um, because we are going to do the license endorsement, it means to say that you will no longer take the NCLEX examination. So it's the same process. Processing time frame for the license endorsement to Texas is two to three months approximately. The cost, if you are going to ask for the cost, it's almost the same, except that we are not going to pay for the NCLEX fees, NCLEX exam fees. So there is another question from Jen Valdez, Miss Jean. How about Hawaii? Hawaii. Yeah. Like in class, Hawaii or endorsement to Hawaii? Uh, what is the question? Most probably she is asking about endorsement to Hawaii. With regard to endorsement to Hawaii, um, we need to. She needs to be in the USA, isn't it? Endorsement to Hawaii. You need to have you need to have a social security number to have a license in Hawaii. So if you're not if you are not going to Hawaii, then we don't really and uh, we don't we don't suggest or encourage you to have a license in Hawaii. But if you are really going to Hawaii, then we can do the endorsement only if. So sure. We haven't done endorsement to Hawaii. We have done license uh, license by exam through Hawaii Board of Nursing. And uh, the problem with Hawaii is that 
when you do the field print, uh, when you do the fingerprinting, it has to be done in the USA. But I just checked the board. I just checked the the Hawaii Board of Nursing site, and I just know that we can do a fingerprinting outside the Hawaii. We just need to have a uh, we just need to have a FBI cards to be sent to the thing to the field print and the the fee for that is like 48.35 something dollars so okay uh there is a question from kah tagare what are the requirements that we need to submit during the endorsement from New York Board of Nursing to Texas Board of Nursing? So, Ms. Kath, your requirements that we need are just the same as those that we are requiring for uh, for NCLEX application procedures. So, for the endorsement, we need to have your transcript of records. Uh, we need to have your um, we need to have your PRC license. Uh, what more, Ms. Jean? Uh, we need to have your um, profile. We will just be sending you a certain form that you need to fill up so that we will have it as um, as our data, as our information that uh, we that will be used for us to fill up the application that will be submitted to the Texas Board of Nursing. We need to know your full name as well because we need to um endorse your license uh from new york board of nursing to texas board of nursing so those are the simple requirements that we need from you principle of records your license your full name and the form that you can ask from ipas processing staff so uh let's go to uh another topic. what about the yes miss jean there is a question from Anjali Viri. Uh, do you do license endorsement from Florida to Illinois? How, how long will it take? Florida to Illinois. So that is just the same as California to Illinois board because you don't have an active license in Florida. So it can be endorsed also to Illinois board. Uh, actually, I haven't done Florida board to Illinois Board, but I have done California Board to Illinois Board of Nursing. So um, I have done 20, I think 20 endorsement to Illinois Board. The problem with Illinois Board is that it takes too long for them to process the endorsement. And sometimes the documents get lost and uh, it is difficult to call. I can call the IDFPR every now and then, but they need an authorization from you, authorization for third party. How long it will take, it depends on how fast the IDFPR will review the documents. The fastest that I have done um, is two months, but the, the, the slowest or longest that I have done was like uh, time. Yeah, it was um yeah miss clarissa hi. hello miss clarissa if you're watching yeah it was eight months because illinois board of nurse idfpr i mean uh they put they put a license in pennsylvania in which she doesn't have a license in pennsylvania so it, it took us too long to justify and explain to the board that she doesn't have a pennsylvania license i don't know how how did it get there. I did endorsement myself online, and I don't know how that PA license gets in her in her uh, application. So, so it it depends, like two months to eight months, maybe. It depends on how fast Illinois uh, IDFPR will review your uh, application. However, though it is still possible because we have already clients whom we have successfully endorsed. It's just that if you want this license endorsement from uh, GOI or uh, if you want to have an active license to Illinois Board of Nursing, it uh, takes a lot of patience though. So you'll be waiting for some time because of uh, this, um, what, because of what Ms. Jean has already mentioned with you. But if you really is persistent with or if you really want to have an active license, then we can still do it for you. So mm -hmm. how about Illinois to California? Is it possible, Illinois to California? 
if you have a social security number, then you can endorse your license to California Board of Nursing. Uh, we don't really accept uh, endorsement or NCLEX exam to California yeah. Board because the evaluation takes too long for them. Um, the evaluator, I think sometimes they will ask you to to study more on I uh, like general classes in med surge or OBGYN because of the concurrency issues that uh, Filipino nurses have. So that's why um, sometimes it is not possible to to endorse your license or to take and class the California Board of Nursing now. If you have a social security number, then you can take NCLEX through California board. Or if you can, if you want to endorse your license from other state to California, you can do so, but you have to have a social security number. We have one client that uh, she was able to successfully do the license endorsement from Florida Board of Nursing to uh, California Board of Nursing. And uh, this client was previously working in, I think, um, Abu Dhabi. And um, she had, she passed the NCLEX through Florida Board of Nursing. So what, during that time, she doesn't have social security number yet. But because her husband is in California, so she went there and then she had the social security number. So that time, she already had a social security number and was able to make her Florida Board of Nursing license active. And then she was able to successfully uh, endorse her license to California Board of Nursing. What she said is that she just followed the site um, in California Board of Nursing, but she prepared her DR and OR cases. So probably you might, if you might want to... Uh, also do that procedure so you might you might as well prepare your OR and DR cases but I'm not so sure though if that's true to all who will be um, applying for a California Board of Nursing so Ms. Jean what happens when your license is endorsed to another state will it remain active or will it remain inactive or it will be inactive if your license in Texas and you want to endorse to New York, your Texas license will still be active. And when it is successfully endorsed to New York, your New York license is active now. So you have two licenses that are that are active. So if you want to keep all those active, then you have to renew it every two years for Texas and every three years in New York. Uh, but if you are going to work in New York and you don't have plans of working in Texas, then you can just let your Texas license be inactive or expired. Anyway, when you when you want to may to activate Hello? Mom Faye? Hi, Mom Raj. Can you really check if you're still online? Huh? I I pass processing. Hello. I think it was caught. We are still online. Hello. Uh -huh. mm. 
Oh, for a while. Ah, maybe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end this. I think. Um, sorry. Uh, I think I have to end this uh, live broadcast as well. No, I don't need to end this as soon as possible. But uh, just letting you know, you know, guys, that Miss Jean, I think. Na ubusa na siya ng battery. <laughs> she wasn't able to notice it. So I will just continue this live broadcast. But we only have uh, five minutes left though. Because we are just um, allowing 30 minutes for this live broadcast. So well, uh, the last question that I can cater though is license endorsement from Illinois Board of Nursing so to Texas Board of Nursing. As what we have previously discussed. Um, for the license endorsement from Illinois, it can be endorsed to Texas Board of Nursing. It's the same thing as the application for NCLEX to Texas Board of Nursing, but the difference is that you will not, uh, you will no longer need to sit for the examination because uh, this is license endorsement. You are just going to endorse your Illinois license to Texas Board of Nursing. Procedure-wise, it's the same thing. Application, we will still be, uh, uh, we will still be doing the nursing jurisprudence. But the difference is that we, you are no longer going to sit for the NCLEX examination. So the last question: What is the importance of having a compact license? Uh, this will be the last question that I will cater. This question is coming from John Marie Villafuerte. Congratulations, by the way, Sir John, for passing the MPLEX examination. And uh, we are very happy that you were able to make it. And for your question, what is the importance of having the compact license? So it's important if you're already in the States and you want to uh to practice as a nurse in another state the difference with the single state and compact state is that when it's a single state you are just allowed to practice as a nurse in the this specific state that you have license with but if your license is a compact license or a multi-state license then you are allowed to practice as a nurse in another 29 compact states but you need to be there first in that as uh, specific compact state for that uh, for your license to become a compact license or a multi-state license the um, the advantage of having it compact is that you don't need to do the license endorsement or the score transfer procedure because if that state is also a compact state then you can be allowed to practice as a nurse in that another state so the question from Jean, I hope that I was able to answer your question, Sir John Marie. Another question, what are the requirements we need to submit so that I can take the MPLEX? Yeah, uh, my family is in Las Vegas and they want me to work there. Uh, Las Vegas is in Nevada, isn't it? Um, for Nevada, you need to have TOEFL. You need to be able to submit your, uh, you need to be able to pass your TOEFL or your PTE. I think Miss Jean is back already. Um, Sorry. Are you there already, Miss yes. Jean? I'm here. Sorry, guys. We'll end it. I didn't know that. She's not still here. Was... Yeah, <laughs> you're back again. <laughs> I am so So the Sorry for that, but you're back. <laughs> okay. So what do we have now? So yeah, the question here is what are the requirements we need to submit so that I can take the NCLEX? My family is in Las Vegas and they want me to work there. Las Vegas. Okay, so you want to take NCLEX in Las Vegas. We can do so, uh, but you have to you have we have done uh NCLEX exam uh to Nevada board Nevada Board of Nursing. Um you need to have a social security number later on because Nevada will not issue your license without a social security number. And you also need to take the PTE, PTE or TOEFL 
uh, we will submit that one. Be, as soon as we send the application through online, we need to submit the scores or your results of PTE or TOEFL, and then uh, credential evaluation service uh, also. And then when you you don't need, you need to have also a fingerprinting. So it will be submitted to Nevada board. And then if you are already approved, then you can take uh, NCLEX exam. But you have to have a social security number so that your license in Nevada, Nevada will be issued. That is the most important thing. You need to have a social security number. So for this live broadcast, we have already defined the terms about license endorsement, score transfer, and license reciprocity, why it is why it is needed, what are the specific states where you can also uh, endorse your California Board of Nursing um, passing of the NCLEX to another um, Board of Nursing. And um, last uh, one thing, Miss Jean, because there are a lot of clients aside from those clients who passed the California Board of Nursing, there are a lot of clients who had Vermont who were who was able to who were able to uh, pass the NCLEX through Vermont. What are the states that are possible for them? Where uh, where are the states where they can endorse their license? Okay, if you pass. Uh and class through Vermont Board of Nursing before we can endorse it to Texas. That Texas is the fastest uh, state that you can get an active license if you have a uh, uh, license in Vermont. Vermont to Texas, Vermont to New York Board. New York is about three two to three months or three to three to four months now uh, yeah right now because there are a lot of nurses who applied for new york board of nursing so the evaluation and comparative department takes time now so about three to four months to have your uh documents school, school documents be evaluated so vermont to new york vermont to texas, texas. Vermont, to, yeah, Vermont to Illinois, it can be done also. Vermont mm -hmm. to Missouri, anywhere, actually anywhere mm -hmm. it can be done. But the fastest that we can have your license, uh, we can get an active license is Texas Board of Nursing. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much for your time, guys, for uh, being with us in this live broadcast. If you have other questions or if you have uh, topics that you want us to discuss with you, you can comment down below so that uh, we are going to review this live broadcast and then it will serve as our basis as to what topic do you want us to discuss with you later on. So we will be doing live broadcast most probably um, one every two weeks um, or it can be one uh, once a week depending on our schedule and event, depending on our availability so uh, let me know let uh, let uh, let me know what topics do you want us to discuss uh, I hope this information will be very um, will uh, I hope this information will be helpful for you in your application for your license endorsement and thank you very much for your time thank you so much for your time miss jean and a good night in advance and night. thank you and have a great day everyone thank you so much bye bye